Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to demonstrate a combo deck that I made. Uh, this is actually a pretty old combo deck, but uh, I just constructed it in Magic Online, and uh, I used to play with this deck sometimes, and it's a pretty uh, decent deck to play. It's, it's a very combo deck, and it's not like a really well-known combo, but it's it's out there. Basically, this, this deck is called Ironworks, and it relies on a card called Crack Clan Ironworks, which says, uh, sacrifice an artifact, add two mana, color this mana to your mana pool and Astronaut's Altar, which is basically the same thing, except it says Sacrifice a Creature, and you use these cards with um, two artifact cards. One is Junk Diver, and one is Mirror Retriever, and both of them are basically the same. Uh, both of them say when it dies, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Basically, the idea is when, one, when you have two of them, either one of them in combination, when one of them dies and another one is in the graveyard, you can return the other one to your hand and replay it in an endless loop, in an endless cycle, basically. So you can, uh, when one dies, you can re return the other one to your hand, play it. When it dies, return the other one, play it. And it's an infinite loop and use this with cards that redu reduce the mana cost so that you can have a net gain in mana cost. And also use some card with some come into play abilities so you have an infinite uh, combo going. So that's basically what this deck's about. And I'm going to show you guys what in a solitaire mode basically how this combo works. So this is the other card that I have, Mirror Retriever, when it dies, return the target artifact card from your to your hand, and this is Junk Diver, which is the same thing. Uh, basically I have two of them because I want to make the combo more stable, so I have eight creatures basically that can do this. And I also have some cards that can help me draw into the combo pieces, like Fabricate, Brainstorm, Thirst for Knowledge. That's cards all there. Of course I play Sea of Synod. That's one of the best probably the best artifact land out there and one of the best lands ever. A brainstorm, one of the best cards ever. Brainstorm, and you can see I have cards that reduce mana costs like Cloud Key. You can also use Helm of Awakening. Uh, you can also use, um, what's that other one? Um, you can use, yeah, you can use Cloud Key, Helm of Awakening. There's, there's some other similar ones you can use to reduce mana I think Ooze's Incubator is the other one. Yeah, Ursus Incubator. Anyways, you can use these ones to reduce the mana cost. Um, I'm going to put... I don't need that much mana for this deck, but basically all I need is one of these. Two of these, basically. Junk Diver, Mirror Retriever. I just need two of them. There's one on top of my deck. I'm good. Alright. And then put out Mirror Retriever. Basically, it doesn't matter if uh, opponent kills him or not. You want him to die. You want him to be in the graveyard, basically. Academy Ruins, in case a key artifact that you need is is killed by the opponent, um, then you can just get it back with Academy Ruins. That's fine. I'm going to do Thirst for Knowledge. So I'm going to discard an artifact, of course. That will be Junk Diver, because I don't need that. Not going to attack, this is a combo deck. Okay, so I got more. I can put up Cloud Key. And I'm going to say Artifact, of course. And then now I'll, all my Artifact costs 1 mana less. So this only costs 1 mana to put it out. Okay, another C is Sign On. Turn 4, right? Um, well, the, basically the goal is this is not like a Taps deck. This is not like, um, what is it, the Egg deck the Egg Ironworks deck, it, it doesn't go off on the early turn and then kill the opponent on like turn 2, turn 3 or something. It's not like that because, well, what's the fun in that? You want the combo to be a little bit slower so that the opponent has some time to play. And if you're in like play in a, like, a game against someone, especially multiplayer, if you kill the opponent so fast, it's, they're not going to want to play with you. So this combo is just a fun combo. It's not really a competitive combo, but I guess I like it. Uh, fabricate. I'm going to get my key combo card, which is this one, Clark Crane Ironworks, Sucker Fast Artifact, add 2 mana to your mana pool, or Astronaut's Altar, which is the same thing. Uh, either one of these cards, I need one of them. So I'm going to put out Clark Crane Ironworks, and then put out another Cloud Key, which will reduce my artifacts now by 2 mana, which basically means my, my Mew Retrievers are now free to play. Get Thought Cast. And uh, yeah, basically... Genesis Chamber is free, and cast it for free. This is my combo card right here. Whenever a non-token creature enters a battlefield that's untapped, you get a 1-1 token. And I also use cards like Scrap Heap, which will gain you infinite life. 
Uh, scrap Cube will give you infinite life. Um, Blasting Station will give you infinite damage. Grinding Station or uh, Ash or uh, Altar of Dementia that will give you infinite mill. So um, you can just basically replay these creatures over and over. You can get some infinite comes into the battlefield effects infinitely. You can do that in a loop. So you can keep doing that and then have some cards that take advantage of that, like Vidalcan Archmage or Genesis Chamber or uh, or Grinding Station, Blasting Station, Scrap Heap. That's that all works out anyway. I got Clark Crane Ironworks, Mew Tree is free, Junk Diver is free. Basically, the combo it's ready to turn five anyway, so the combo is ready there. Because I'm going to I'm going to create infinite creatures now, and the way I'm doing that is now I can sacrifice, sacrifice Mew Retriever, get two mana, get Junk Diver back to my hand, right? Sacrifice the other Mew Retriever, two mana, get the Mew Retriever to my hand, play this for free. Sacrifice this for two mana. Goes back to my hand. You know, keep doing this over and over and over again. I guess you can have like a mana sink here. Uh, the mana sink would be... Uh, well, there's so many mana sinks in Magic anyways. An example would be like Goblin Cannon. That's like a basic mana sink there. It just Anything you have a whole lot of X, you basically have like infinite mana at this point because every time I sacrifice a mirror retriever, I get the other one back, play for free, I get two extra mana. So if I have some kind of mana sink here, then I can do infinite damage uh, with some X spell here. Whoops. Play that for free. I can play this for free as well. I can sack any one of these cards, get the other one back. Um, but basically, I already have my combo out here. I just need twenty uh, Genesis, this Genesis tokens. This is anyways, this is a pretty basic combo. It's it doesn't require a lot of um, expensive cards, which is what I like about it. The most expensive card in this deck, probably the Ashnaz Altar, since it's an old card. That's about it. The other cards in this deck are not that expensive, which is what I like about this this deck, is that it's not very expensive to make this combo deck. And okay, I got I got twenty creatures out, so I can finish the opponent on the next turn. Okay, I got thirty eight mana. Good thing that mana burn is eliminated. I don't have to deal with mana burn anymore. Okay, just just for kicks, let's see what else we have. Yeah, so I got some other st stuff here, but it doesn't matter. And yeah, that's uh, GG. Attack with a whole bunch of infinite creatures. Basically, I can make infinitely as many creatures as I want here. show you some of the other cards I use. So Ashnaut's Altar, Sacrifice a Creature, add 2 mana to mana pool, add Thoughtcast. Uh, Veldekrin Archmage will give you, will basically give you an infinite draw. If you really want to draw out your whole deck, you could use that. That will give you an infinite draw. Let's uh, fabricate this for knowledge for digging. Ethereum Sculptor. This one will basically substitute for Cloud Key. It's basically 2 mana, uh, it's actually 1 mana less than Cloud Key. So that's their brainstorm. And uh, Genesis Chamber, it's grinding station. This will give you an infinite mill. Mew Retriever, uh, so did the Meek, which will give you an extra sack if you need it. Blasting station, with infinite damage. Every time the blast, every time the Mew comes back in, blasting station untaps and give you infinite damage. Cloud Key, Junk Diver, the main 
cogs and scrap heap. Whenever an artifact enchantment is put in a graveyard, gain one life, so it's an infinite life for that. Collecting on links. Uh, Mirror works just for fun. This is not really necessary, but I'll just put in fun. But that's it. That's the Ironworks deck combo. And uh, yeah, I like it because it's really easy to make this deck. And um, as you can see, you can go off by on turn 5. Not that bad. Not bad at all.